Hi, welcome to the GPAT preparation series for test number 5. This test series will be helpful in preparation for the GPAT exam. We wish you all the best. Before we start the test, let us understand the process. So, here is the process. This test consists of 10 questions and you will get 7 seconds to write your answer in the comments. For example, if the answer to question 1 is option B, you can write it in the comments as 1B. Similarly, if the answer to question 2 is option A, you can write it in the comments as 2A. So, the first question is. A typical example of exotoxin is. Option A, lipid A. Option B, cytokine. Option C, tetanospasmin. Option D, tuberculin. As you know, you have got 7 seconds. If you know the answer, mention it in the comments. The time starts now. The time is over. I hope you got it right. The correct option is C, that is tetanospasmin. Now let us quickly move to question number 2. A conductivity cell consists of Option A, to platinized platinum electrode system. Option B, a platinum calomel electrode system. Option C, a platinum tungsten electrode system. Option D, a glass calomel electrode system. You have got 7 seconds. If you know the answer, mention it in the comments. The time starts now. So, the time is over. Let us see the correct answer. The right option is A, that is to platinized platinum electrode system. I hope you are participating in the test and writing the answers in the comments. That is awesome. Let us move ahead. So, the next question is, the stationary phase used in gel permeation chromatography is. Option A, alumina. Option B, charcoal. Option C, squalene. Option D, styrene divinyl benzene copolymer. Mention your answer in the comments. You have got 7 seconds. Let us see the correct answer. The right option is D, that is styrene divinyl benzene copolymer. I hope you are ready to take the next question. Here it is. Qualitative analysis by polarography is based on Option A. Electrode potential Option B. Half-wave potential Option C. Migration current Option D. Limiting current Mention your answer in the comments. Your time starts now. Let us see the right answer. The right option is B, that is half wave potential. Here is the next question. Let us see if you know the answer. Derivation is done in GC. Option A, to convert a less polar compound to a more polar compound. Option B, to make the compound non-volatile. Option C, to convert a polar compound to a more polar compound. Option D, to liquefy a solid. Your time starts now. Here is the answer. The right option is C, that is to convert a polar compound to a more polar compound. Few more questions left, let's move ahead and take the challenge. The ultra-short-acting barbiturates have brief duration of action due to Option A High agree of binding to plasma protein. Option B. Low lipid solubility resulting in a minimal concentration in the brain. Option C. Metabolism is slow in the liver. Option D. Rapid rate of redistribution from the brain due to its high liposolubility. Your time starts now. The right option is D, that is rapid rate of redistribution from the brain due to its high liposolubility. 
Few more questions left, let's move ahead and take the challenge. One of the following opioid peptides is released from propiomlanocortin, T-O-M-C. Option A, somatostatin. Option B, betaendorphin. Option C, leuenkephalin. Option D, dynorphin. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is B, that is beta endorphin. Wow, you are participating really well in the test. Let us see if you can answer the next one. One of the following statements is characteristic for natural estrogens. Option A, aromatic ring with phenolic group and an estrange nucleus. Option B, aromatic ring with an alcoholic group and a pregnant nucleus. Option C, Reduced ring system belonging to the class estrange. Option D. Reduced ring system belonging to the class pregnant. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is A that is, aromatic ring with phenolic group and an estranged nucleus. Here is the next one. The major product formed by the condensation of 2-trifluoromethylphenothiazine with sodamid and 1,3-chloropropyl-1-4-methylpiprazine. Option A, trifluoridyl. Option B, trifluoperazine. Option C, trifluopromazine. Option D, trifluophenothiazine. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is B, that is trifloperazine. Here is the last one. Give it a try. Metoprolol is sometimes preferred to propranolol because. Option A. It has both alpha and beta adrenergic blockade. Option B. It has both vasodilator properties and beta adrenergic blocker. Option C. It is a beta 1 selective antagonist and its trees do not enter the brain. Option D. It is a beta 2 selective antagonist. Your time starts now. I hope you could find the right one. Only 7 seconds left. Post your answer in the comments. The right option is C, that is it is a beta-1 selective antagonist and its trees do not enter the brain. Since you participated in all the questions of this GPAT preparation series for test number 5, we really appreciate your effort. We wish you all the best for your GPAT preparation. See you soon. In the next GPAT preparation series video.